Well, clearly there's the physical piece of hardening, and that's getting uh, generators at the sites. Yeah. We, we do that nearly everywhere. Yeah. Uh, batteries for eight hours or longer, and as your capacity at a site grows, the battery life shrinks, so we stay on top of that mm -hmm. and upgrade the batteries. I'd say first and foremost in all that hardening is having a spirit and folks who want to get it fixed when it breaks. Yeah. All the stuff that's out there in the environment will have problems at one time or another. You're heavily dependent on uh, backhaul from other carriers. Yeah. You've got to work that hard to get uh, T1s back up. Uh, some days I just i am thankful that prayers are answered and lightning doesn't hit the tower and we haven't had tornadoes go right through one of our sites. But I think people get lost in the whole hype over 3G, 4G, and even being in this industry, I was thinking 4G was going to do everything when it rolled out. Well, it does data, and it does data really good. And phones will come, and voice will come, but it's not there. So if you want to talk, you still need, and I think people, voice is still a super application. Yeah. Uh, and you think about when the lights go out or there's damage, what do you want to do? You want to talk to somebody you love. And yeah. If you can do that, and if people can get the lights back on, because you can't do anything else when the lights are out. And I was sort of on that note. I was happy to see the public safety folks acknowledge that critical infrastructure people like, the electric utilities and the gas utilities, are sometimes the real first responders yes, in terms yes. of getting there. Yeah. And clearly, the guns and the hoses guys critically important. We mm -hmm. appreciate what they do. So we spent a lot of time with our people thinking about disasters and where they could hit and what we would do. And I think one of the great things about Southern Company people is we know how to react because we have planned for what could happen. Mm -hmm. Now clearly you might not think of everything that can happen, but yeah. we have people who think about a lot of weird things. And how would you prepare? How would you respond? And the whole spirit of the, the Southern Company system is get the lights on, keep the lights on, take care of the customer. And when you got people dedicated to do that, whether they're in the wireless part or the electric part, customers are going to get a good experience. Well, I've been blessed to be in the electric industry for over 30 years mm -hmm. and in the wireless business for over 15. So 47 years of selling company. Uh, what's fun and exciting about the wireless side is it's fast moving, it changes uh, the spirit of uh, competitiveness is huge. Now, the electric side competes, but in a different way, and it's yeah. clearly a monopoly, uh, but there's competition. People don't recognize that, but I'd say here at RCA, one of the things that's just huge is Steve Berry coming in yeah. uh, about 18 months ago, the staff he's built up, uh, the support that the board has given him and the whole how do we grow, unite the carriers yeah. to take care of rural America. And we've got a combination now of both rural carriers that are the foundation of the RCA, and we're getting some bigger players. When you're arguing the issues, yeah. whether it's USF yeah. funding, uh, it's interoperability, it's handsets, everybody's going to stake out what's good for them. Sure. And you expect that. Mm -hmm. uh, from the things that I see, and I'm not on the executive committee of either of these boards, mm -hmm. but know people that are, for the most part, we argue and discuss and maybe cuss, but you still walk away and you respect the yeah, other people. Yeah, respect their point so of view, yeah, what they've got going on. So. Clearly, we don't want to be run over by AT&T or Verizon. I think it's uh, clearly every company's going to do what's in their best interest. And when your interests are adverse to mine, we'll duke it out. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, there'll be cool heads that prevail and think good things will happen. But it's it's tough, but it works. It all works out somehow, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, great. Well, Bob, again, I appreciate you taking the time.